Hi, I'm Aisha Kader and this is PCR Online. Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Masahiro Natsuaki of Saga University, Japan. Dr. Natsuaki presented the Stop Death 3 trial yesterday as a hotline late breaker at ESC Congress. So Stop Death 3 investigated the efficacy and safety of aspirin-free Prasugrel monotherapy compared with one month of dual antiplatelet therapy with aspirin and Prasugrel in patients with ACS or HBR undergoing PCI with a cobalt chromium verolimus eluting stent. Welcome Dr. Natsuaki to uh, PCR Online and could you tell us a bit about the hypothesis of your study, the patient population and the inclusion criteria? Thank you, it's my pleasure. Um, the hypothesis of this study is that uh, removing aspirin from DAPD strategy could reduce major bleeding events without increasing uh, cardiovascular events in patients with ACS or HBR. Because, uh, of course, DAPD is the standard strategy, uh, at least within one month after stent implantation. However, the rate of major bleeding within one month after PCI um, in the real clinical pr practice still uh, remains high, especially patients uh, with high bleeding risk. So we um, conducted this uh, trial. All right, and you had two primary endpoints, mm -hmm. the, a major bleeding endpoint that, and also mm -hmm. a composite cardiovascular uh -huh. endpoint. How did you power this? How did you design it in terms of superiority and inferiority? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, for uh, superiority, um, event rate was assumed 4.0% uh, event rate and 38% uh, uh, risk reduction and 90% uh, power. Uh, 6,000 patients uh, were, to be con uh, were to be enrolled uh, for superiority of this trial. Of the major bleeding endpoint? Or? Yes. Yes, that's okay. right. And the cardiovascular composite endpoint was then uh, mm -hmm. powered for non inferiority? That, exactly. Uh, 6,000 patients had about 84% power for okay. uh, non inferiority of cardiovascular endpoint. All right. Could you tell us the main results of this study? Thank you. So, um, regarding the core primary bleeding endpoint, aspirin free strategy uh, failed to attest su uh, superiority uh, in terms of the major bleeding as compared with DAPT group. Uh, regarding the co primary cardiovascular endpoint, aspirin free strategy was non inferior to the DAPT group um, regarding the cardiovascular endpoint. However, when we look at the result of the, each component of cardiovascular events, the rate, rates of um, subacute definite or probable thrombosis and any unplanned coronary uh, revascularization was higher in the no aspirin group than in the DAPT group. That's right. That's uh, that's an interesting point mm -hmm. and an interesting mm -hmm. finding that, of course, the study was not powered for. Mm -hmm. But uh, why do you think uh, this strategy of aspirin only failed in terms of um, the ischemic endpoint? Also, that's a, that's a good, good, great question. Uh, first of all. Um, at least within one month, we need aspirin to prevent the uh, coronary events. Uh, aspirin m may have the protective effect on vulnerable lesions, regardless of the target lesion and non-target lesion. And also, it, could, it is just a speculation, but we use low-dose Prasugel in this trial, which is approved only in Japan. So maybe a global dose of Prasugel could achieve aspirin-free strategy, but so we should wait for uh, the result, ongoing results, ongoing trials evaluating aspirin-free strategy using global dose of Prasugel such as Neomindset or Legacy Trial. That's right. That's an interesting point you brought up about the East mm -hmm. Asian paradox and uh, exactly. this lower dose mm -hmm. um, of Prasugrel. Do you anticipate that the results might be different if, say, with a higher dose? It, uh, it, it, it's possible. Because uh, uh, if we use the global dose of Prasugel, the bleeding events could be higher, yes. and uh, cardiovascular events could be lower. So it's 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 just a speculation, but it's uh, the results could be uh, different. All right, thank you for that. And one last question: mm -hmm. We had Stop Dept, which had a three-month dual mm -hmm. antiplatelet compared to. Uh, later monotherapy, stop DEP2, we brought it down to one month, mm -hmm. and now you had stop DEP3 where it was aspirin free, zero month of mm -hmm. dual antiplatelet strategy. What's the next um, trial in the stop DEP series? What okay. do you think it is? Uh, actually, we do not have, uh, have next plan now. 
but uh, when we look at the results of SOPTA uh, 3 trial, actually no definite stem thrombosis occurred in patients with non-ACS. So yes. um, next possible trial is no aspirin strategy in patients with non-ACS. That's a very good point you brought up actually about the pre-specified analysis mm -hmm. of ACS versus mm -hmm. non-ACS. Would you like to just elaborate a bit about that to our viewers ah. before we close? Uh, okay, thank you. So in the sub-analysis for ACS and non-ACS, there are uh, no significant interactions between clinical presentation and the treatment effect. However, when we look at the uh, uh, stent thrombosis, um, most uh, probable or definite stent thrombosis occur in patients with ACS. And as I mentioned, no uh, definite stent thrombosis occurred in non-ACS patients. That, that just drives the point that in ACS patients, we still need to keep them on dual antiplatelet therapy and the age of monotherapy is still not here with the current uh, drug leuting stents. Exactly. So thank you very much, Dr. Natsuaki. We appreciate you taking the time and make sure you catch the rest of the coverage of ESC Congress on PCR Online. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. I appreciate it.